Hello, this is Tom Stiles again, and I've completed my testing of the various antennas. Um, as I mentioned before, I have five antennas that I tested. And here's the results, and I'll try to put them in the description later on. But the antenna that hit the most repeaters was the... 1717S MMFJ, which is this one right here, which is not the longest. This is this is the longest, pretty close to the same length, and it's flexible, unlike this one, which is not flexible. And so that got uh, seven repeaters out of. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, eleven. I have eleven. You got seven out of eleven repeaters. This one here, the 1717S. The one that came in second, which is the longest, is this MFJ 1717SFZ, which, like I say, is not flexible, it just bends. That came in second with five. So this got seven, this got five. Okay, going down the line, the next one is the, uh, let's see, five. We got a tie with three, and that is the stock antenna got three repeaters. And this, which is the NA701, which I got from Amazon, that hit three repeaters. So these did about the same. So this, you would think, would be some improvement. It was not, at least under these conditions. Today, this location, these atmospheric conditions, whatever. This and the little guy, as you might have expected, did the worst. But it did hit two, but they were very close. So that's the test results. Like I say, I'll try to publish a little table under the description if it's possible that gives you the test results broken down by repeater and I'll add the distance that the repeater was from my site and I uh, hope you liked this show if you did please give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down that's okay um, like I say this is kind of not very scientific it's one test with certain conditions. So take it with a grain of salt. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.